Nvidia has definitely been going through some heat as of lately, but we got some pretty cool updates regarding the new GPUs that they're going to be releasing probably the first quarter of 2025, definitely not quarter four of 2024, unfortunately. So all those people about to ask mommy and daddy to buy them a 5090, just messing around. I know you guys are all super wealthy and have enough money to buy it on your own. You don't need to ask mommy and daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, there is, is some other stuff that I wanted to share with you. All of the articles that you just barely saw, there's like five of them regarding the new NVIDIA graphics cards. They're not all like the exact same, but they're all somewhat similar. So this right here, the Intel Core Ultra 7 265K leak shows that it's going to be boosting up to 5.2 gigahertz, the multi-core score boost, um, and all of that kind of stuff. So if we come down here, the charts... This is part of the reason that I love the video cards website. You guys can see in comparison to the uh, other CPUs that they got going on here. Um, I'm just pretty excited for the new Intel CPUs. And then I'm also excited for one of the other topics that we got going on up in here that I apparently forgot to open because I'm just super intelligent. And now I unfortunately have to, uh, oh wait, no, I definitely did it right. Hold up. I almost thought I was going to have to go over to my Twitter, but I uh, didn't want you guys to see my search because you never know what pops up when I type T. I could be like, let's let's think of an inappropriate word that starts with a T. And then the second letter is I. And then the third letter is almost the same as the first. AI, can you figure out what I just spelled? Um, the X870 motherboards, I'm pretty excited to test these out with the... 9000 series of cpus from amd mostly because uh dude like that small little windows update and the boost that we saw in the amd cpus like if a simple windows update can increase the performance that much then i mean a brand new motherboard is probably going to uh increase said performance even more so the rtx 50 series graphics cards this right here is nvidia just just shipping out the graphics cards to put an end to all the rumors saying that the graphics cards are going to be delayed this is a pretty long story but that's really the main thing that i need to say if you would like to go ahead and pause the video you can go ahead and do so but i'm not going to go ahead and cover all of this stuff because at the end of the day all you need to know is that they're not going to be delayed so because of that we're going to go ahead and Move the tab over there and come back here. So the NVIDIA RTX 5080 GPU is rumored to be 10% faster than the RTX 4090, but it might guzzle nearly as much power as the Lovelace flagship. Now, so one of the main reasons that I can see people complaining about this is that, first of all, the, the, um, how do I want to put this? Look, dude. I'm just going to say it the way it is. So first of all, the, the 4090 and the 4080 and the graphics card adapters and people having the melting problems. Look, I understand that that is definitely an issue. I understand that was happening. I understand that that's not okay for Nvidia to do this. Okay. I'm fully aware of that. It is just like Intel. I'm fully aware that the Intel CPUs are having problems. I'm fully aware that Intel CPUs do have an issue and it is not okay for the issues to just like be there i'm f so what i'm about to say is not me trying to take sides with nvidia or trying to take sides with intel or trying to take sides with amd i'm just pointing out a fact okay when something goes wrong and a simple one person youtube channel makes a video on it that video let's use gamers nexus as an example this man just barely got a million people to watch his video that are now going to go and talk about the video they just barely watched and the way people interact on the internet is the people one million of them that just watched gamers nexus are going to go over to reddit and laugh at nvidia because intel and amd are superior or they're going to go and post about intel on reddit and let's be fair right now negativity gets clicks so they're going to post something negative to stir up a bunch of crap and within two hours there's like 
a quintillion amount of people that just barely found out about one person making one video on one thing. So I was explaining that because this is like being blown out of proportion or that was blown out of proportion. The Intel situation is a little bit different. It's not a perfect example, but the main reason that I was covering that dude is because we're the, the 5090 is supposedly going to be having a, a 600 watt power supply or it's going to be drawing 600 watts. And then the, the 5080 is supposedly going to be drawing 400 watts, which look, man, and that brings us in, into the second thing, which my cookies are done. Um, I know you guys heard my microwave, uh, but the, the, I'm actually going to go take those out because they're a different type of cookie. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. So the second part that I wanted to cover here in regards to the power draw from the 5090 and the 5080, this is something that, okay, so I'm just going to toss this out here right now. All right. So let's say Honda Civic right here it costs you, let's say $20 in gas and you get about 30 miles per gallon. This is, this is the, this is the. This is the whatever. This is the RTX 4060. Okay. Your little Honda Civic is this RTX 4060. So when we move over here into the Lamborghini Huracan, this is, you see, this is the 4090 or actually let's use the 50 series. So this is the 5060. This over here is the 5090. What well, like, do, 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 like, are you, are you honestly going to say, oh, this Lamborghini over here that is literally 10 times faster than this non boosted Honda Civic, their JDM man that is about to leave a comment about how his turboed Civic is faster than the Huracan. Like, whatever. Okay. My point is that this little Honda Civic is going to consume less power than the freaking Lamborghini that is over here that you just barely dropped $300,000 on. Are you honestly going to go and buy a $300,000 car and then complain about how much gas it consumes? That is literally the exact same thing. Are you honestly going to go and dude, it just, it baffles me. It, it really does. It, it baffles me how stupid people have become. Like, why would you go and, and look, man, I'm not, dude, it, it, I'm not saying that it's like, okay, like, oh, I would just love for my 5090 to just draw 7,000 Watts from my power supply. So, and it, like, so that it, each month I have to pay $700 more in my power bill, dude, listen. It's not like Nvidia is like, oh, hey, here's a 5090. We're going to force you to buy our graphics card because we're going to make your graphics card irrelevant. Like PlayStation and Xbox and Nintendo do every three or four years. They release a new console. Dude, Nvidia is not doing that. It's not like they're like, oh, you need to buy our 5090 for, for three grand. And now you, this is the only graphics card you can use. Dude, if you buy a graphics card, any graphics card, period. This is a, anything over $1,000. If you buy a graphics card over $1,000 and you choose to spend $1,000 on a graphics card and you complain about the power draw from a $1,000 graphics card that you're now going to pay $2 more every single year in your power bill, or let's go ahead and use the people that live in Florida or Texas or Hawaii or the Australian desert without a roof and the sun beating down on your head as you play your friggin' gaming PC in a sun blasting cancer cells at you. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> so I get it. It's like your, your PC is like putting heat. First of all, if you have four grand to buy a new computer, you have $500 to buy a better air conditioner. Okay. Listen, this is a fact. You don't have to buy the 5090 that is going to draw more power and heat your apparently super hot apartment that you could literally move up north. Maybe if you desperately like, let's move on. Cause you boys, 
I just, it just doesn't make sense to me. I just, I'll never understand why people complain about the power draw. I don't care, dude. It's just like, I understand it's power draw. Okay. I get it. It's power draw. Nobody is like, oh, hey, I just would love my PC to be a thousand times hotter. Or I would love my PC to be a bajillion times freaking whatever, more expensive to run. And my parts to last one fourth the amount of time. Dude, you have a choice. Do, does your credit card just get up and be like, oh, hey, Amazon, here, like, I would just love to, to, to purchase your, your graphics card here. Let me do this for you without my owner knowing. It's not like your graph, your, your credit card is your friggin' pet dog that goes and does stuff on its own. It's like you have a choice, bro. So it just doesn't, it, it'll never make sense to me why people complain about that. It just doesn't. So, uh, so Nvidia did not, this is more so on the stock end. It's nothing in regards to like the gaming or anything like that. But Nvidia denies receiving a sub poena from the DOJ and it says that it is quote unquote happy to answer all questions. The reason that I was covering this is for the artificial intelligence aspect of it. I don't cover stocks, so I'm not going to cover this article. Have never covered stocks. So the the main reason that I'm covering this is for the artificial intelligence aspect of stuff. And um so okay, there's more graph uh more of this stuff right here. So really quick, I forgot to actually you boys, I, I, I literally jumped back to the title. You guys are all going to be super happy that I covered all that before moving into the other stuff. Either way, this right here, Acer has a little handheld console. Forgot to share that. MSI's new X8 set. I actually did share that. PS5 Pro load times, leave fans divided in the leak specs. PS5 Pro, don't buy it. Just saying. Fact. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. If you want to buy it, buy it. Not my, not my, uh whatever you do what you want to do bro um i don't support sony anymore actually i take that back i just bought one of their tvs <laughs> i just uh dude i got this i got this tcl tv it was an 85 inch tcl tv for my room because like this is an lg 85 inch tv and i love this thing it's so awesome but dude i had i have like a 65 inch tv in my room and dude, this like this this thing like watching this, it was just putting it to shame. And like every time I would go try to watch something in my room, I'm like, frick, dude, screw this. And like I come back out and I watch something out here. So I got a bigger, I got a big TCL TV to watch it. Oh my god, dude. Why do people why does that company even exist? The worst display I have ever seen. Fact. Oh my God, it was disgusting to look at. It is so overly, so you know phones, you know how phone like you record with your phone and it's like overly sharpened when you put it up on a big screen. It looks good on a little teeny tiny screen, like your little artificial intelligence, your little tiny puny ass camera sensor that apparently records at the same resolution and frame rate as a $5,000 computer or yeah, five, camera. It's using artificial intelligence to do that, bro. So my point in explaining that is because when you put it up on a, a big screen it looks disgusting <laughs> so <laughs> so dude it looks like the tv was taking a 720p image and like upscaling it into 4k that's what it looked like on an 85 inch display it was the most disgusting i'll never ever buy one of those tvs ever again and that company deserves to not exist <laughs> But anyways, I returned it and I got a Sony. <laughs> I got a Sony uh, TV. <laughs> it's only 60 hertz. It's not going to be. It's only. It's for my bedroom. It's not one of the, the gaming TVs from Sony. It's just a, um, one of the normal 85 inches. But let me know what you guys think about this stuff in regards to the RTX 50 series graphics cards. The delay not happening according to Nvidia. So that kind of confirms that the whatever first quarter of 2025 into two or last quarter of 2024 the wattage again it's i'm not like saying oh I, i'm just so happy that the 5090 has 600 watts but i'm also not like sitting here like going over to reddit and be like oh my god the 5090 graphics card that i literally do not even have right now that literally is going to cost over two thousand dollars that i literally have to sit in front of my computer screen for the next 24 hours to have a 
chance of scoring has a power draw of 600 watts. Why would I complain about that? First of all, the graphics card I do not have. Second of all, the graphics card that I do not have is going to cost over $2,000 MSRP. And then all of us are not going to be able to get it for less than $3,000. And then you also need $4,000 worth of other parts in order to use the $2,000 graphics card that you just barely bought. And now I'm going to complain about my PC being warm and it causing $5 increase in my power bill. I genuinely will not ever understand, period, fact, why people complain about that. I just, dude, if we were talking about a $200 computer, we'd be having a different story. But we're talking about you choosing to buy a graphics card for thousands of dollars. <laughs> dude like what? this isn't just like a thing where like oh oh hey let me let me just like here oh it, it is whatever it is whatever i'm just gonna go like buy a little freaking tootsie roll for 10 cents here it is There's my little tootsie roll i'm just gonna toss it in my face and then crap it out it's not like we're doing that with a graphics card dude we're talking about thousands of dollars <laughs> so i'm gonna end the video catch you guys next one peace